It's not all about oil here in the United Arab Emirates. Behind the big skyscrapers and the massive infrastructure projects, an ambitious trend towards entrepreneurship is emerging. Here to give us more details on that is Dr. Ahmad Al Mutawa, CEO of Khalifa Fund for Enterprise Development. The fund was launched in 2007 by Abu Dhabi government to create a new generation of Emirati entrepreneurs by instilling and enriching the culture of investment amongst young people, as well as supporting and developing small and medium-sized investments in the Emirate. Welcome to INSEAD Knowledge. Thank you very much. Entrepreneurship is a vital component of Abu Dhabi Vision 2030. How can Emirati entrepreneurs contribute to the sustainable development and the economic diversification of the Emirate and of the country as a whole? I think they can be more contributing to the economy and the vision of 2030 by engaging themselves on some kind of entrepreneurial activities which follow certain thinking of innovation and coming up with activities that can contribute to certain sectors that are highlighted in the 2030. Uh, establishing businesses by Emirati nationals is a national cause that is needed and it's important in an economy where uh, foreign-owned businesses are quite perv per pervasive. How do you assess the entrepreneurial attitude among UAE nationals? There is a strong entrepreneurial activity among uh, UAE nationals. And if you look at the Jim report that came out last year, uh, I think UAE is ranked number one in terms of the amount of entrepreneurial activities. Uh, the entrepreneurs uh, are very eager uh, in the UAE to seek opportunities uh, in different sectors and the feeling is coming that there is a need for them to solidify their economic life and well-being through uh, owned businesses rather than just having a job. And given the opportunities that the government has given them in terms of training, in terms of financing and other institutions like Khalifa Fund, I think the appetite, the appetite is high. More well-paid job opportunities are being created by the government for locals. How does that affect their drive towards starting up their own businesses? And how does government support independent businesses? If we separate the two parts of the question, the first part is about what kind of effects that governmental jobs have on entrepreneurial spirit of the nationals, I think it doesn't uh, prevent it. In fact, it supports it. Uh, if we look at the data around the world, we will find that uh, the entrepreneur is someone who is not a new graduate, who is someone who graduated, who worked in the labor market for a while in a job, and then he scanned the environment, he found an opportunity, and he's going for it. So if the government creates high-paying, high-skilled national jobs, that will give better training for nationals to come up with better ideas and do more entrepreneurial uh, work and ventures rather than preventing them. In terms of supporting independent businesses, I think there are a lot of schemes that the government has come up lately with and we in Khalifa Fund have signed a lot of agreements with so many institutions to offer waivers and privileges and support for uh, national independent businesses so that they can grow and they can uh, have all the needed support the, during their establishment phase. How developed is the regulatory environment governing the legal issues which are crucial to new businesses and startups? I can say at the moment this is the least developed area in terms of supporting SMEs, which is the regulatory environment. Uh, however, there are several laws that in their way to be formed and to, be, to come out. Uh, for example, the definition of SMEs, which will uh, require after that to design certain schemes of support, exemptions, and what kind of support the government will offer to them once you identify which enterprise is small, which enterprise is medium. The other one is the insolvency or the bankruptcy law. I think that is a very important law which hampers a lot of activities uh, in, in, the business, in establishing business. So hopefully when they come out they will improve uh, that weak side. The major economic activities in the United Arab Emirates are dominated by large family businesses in addition to government and semi-government companies. 
How does that affect opportunities for entrepreneurs? And how do you think small businesses can work and compete with big players in these markets? The issue is not just competition, it's complementarity. The businesses that are established by the big ones and family-owned businesses are usually uh, big in terms of investment and activities, which are not subject to young entrepreneurs at the beginning. Of course, they might grow and compete with them later. However, I see more complementarity because the small and medium-sized companies, they usually grow on the back of the big ones through subcontracting activities. Khalifa Fund has the initiative of something called Khalifa Gateway, which is a portal in which we will try to get the small and medium size with the big ones so they can do subcontracting in that portal and that will encourage and support the growth of these SMEs. What kind of projects and sectors are entrepreneurs focusing on here in the United Arab Emirates? And are they more service oriented as opposed to production based projects? Actually, I am also surprised by the fact that it's not dominated to totally by services. Uh, we in Khalifa Fund, we have about 37 to 40 percent are in industrial activities. Of course, they are not big industries or manufacturing activities. However, they are related to producing products rather than services. So I would say the, in terms of sectors, it's spread across and now with the uh, hydroponic activities uh, or technology that came out in agriculture, we see nationals even uh, tackling the issues of agriculture in which agricultural activities and food production can be done without affecting the environment and without putting too much pressure on water resources. In terms of the projects you are funding, are you getting what you think is the best for the economy in terms of sectors and products? What is the best for the economy cannot be dictated by very small businesses. It can be dictated by the big ones and in the middle and the small ones. Uh, in terms of is it the best for the economy, I think when a business comes out, it is filling the gap of demand. There is a certain demand in the market and such a business, that's why it was born to fill that gap. So yes, it is serving the economy. Is it enough technologically advanced? Does it really adopt certain methods and techniques that will improve anything in the economy? They are at this scale, uh, at the moment, uh, small in scale to have such effects. I think such question can be directed more to the big ones rather than, sm than the small ones. How innovative are the business ideas of the United Arab Emirates nationals? I would say they range from the innovative to the regular. In fact, we in Khalifa Fund term some projects or entrepreneurs as lifestyle entrepreneurs. We have entrepreneurs who come to establish business not for the sake of innovation, but rather to improve their economic life and the well-being of their families. So we call that more of a lifestyle. But we have also entrepreneurs who came out with a very innovative and vanguard ideas in terms of pharmaceuticals. So we have quite a big range, but I would say as we go along, we see more innovative and more entrepreneurial ideas coming out. You offer funding for entrepreneurs. How would you describe the typical UAE entrepreneur? I would say the age is in the 30s, uh, the gender actually is difficult to say if it's male or female because we have 25% of our financed applicants are females, so, and that percentage is rising every day. Uh, and someone who probably has a job in a governmental or semi-governmental uh, institution, uh, someone who already worked in the labor market holding a job, uh, somebody who already maybe went through an, a business experience. What skills are important for UAE nationals to start up their own businesses? I think the main skill they require is how to run a business and how to understand the financials of the business. And the second skill is to understand the activities they are about to 
to do or establish. If you don't understand the activities, if you don't understand the technicals behind it, then it's very difficult for anybody to manage a project and lower the costs of such project, especially if you don't understand where the costs are going. The second thing is you need to understand what is required in terms of marketing, in terms of bookkeeping, in terms of management, and in terms of improving the uh, technicalities of the product. Uh, these things actually, the fund is, Khalifa Fund is trying to fill that gap. When we find entrepreneurs lack such skills, we at Khalifa Fund provide for them the training in that area so they start to understand what is a business and what do they need to do to really manage a business. So that training is quite important and in fact we make it sometimes even mandatory for someone to be financed. Thank you very much. Thank you.